Hello, my friend. How are you feeling today? Good or so-so? I don't accept bad as an answer. Either you're feeling good or you're feeling so-so. In this class, we're going to talk about things you should do and things you shouldn't do when you want to volunteer. Last classes we talked about El Sistema, this amazing work. And I asked you to contribute to your country, to do social work, to make impact in people's lives. But sometimes we don't know how to start, right? We want to do something. We want to be a volunteer, but we don't know how to start. In this class, we're going to talk about things you should do if you want to volunteer. But before I start, like this class, interact. What you should do. Think about your interests. What kinds of things do you get excited about? Do you love to teach kids? Do you like to work outdoors? Do you like to help people in need? Your interests can lead to a particular type of volunteer activity. Consider your skills. Are you good at something like sports? Are you good at something like computers? Most volunteer organizations are looking for people with specific talents and abilities. Do research. You be amazed at the number of volunteer organizations out there. Start by asking family and friends about the ones they know. They can recommend you organizations. Do some research on the internet. Then, follow up by contacting the organization directly. Now, according to this text, what are three things you can do to start volunteering? Please comment here. If you want to learn faster, if you want to receive a certificate, bvip at tuaprendesaura.com can help to aprendesaura.com. If you want to volunteer, recommend to aprendesaura to your friends. Share this class with your friends. Thank you very much. I'm Felipe Gibi. See you next class. Your first volunteer job may be less than ideal, but it can still be a good learning experience.